venous thromboembolism is usually related to patients with clots and they're developed in the upper extremities or lower extremities. It's usually related to some types of hypercoagulability or, or increased risk of clotting. They develop clots in their, in their veins and those clots can actually sometimes break off and travel into the lungs and cause what we call pulmonary embolism. So as interventional radiologists, the types of treatments that we offer include, one is catheter-directed thrombolysis. We can actually place in small catheters the size of pencil into those veins and actually administer clot-busting medications that can break up those clots. Patients that would be indicated for catheter-directed thrombolysis include patients with acute, subacute uh, clot in their legs, those that have, are having pain or associated symptoms related to the, the disease, and those that are actually causes swelling, and those can be, like I said, treated minimally invasive without any surgery or a, a, any, any actual open procedure. One of the other alternatives that we do as interventional radiologists is that we place in what we call inferior vena cava filters, so IVC filters. Those are devices that actually are placed in the veins to block clot that's in the lower extremities traveling up into the lungs to cause life-threatening pulmonary embolism. People with pulmonary embolism, they usually present to the emergency department, usually with shortness of breath, difficulty breathing. Um, they're usually found on a CT scan to have clot in their lungs. Um, so what we can do as interventional radiologists is minimally invasive procedures is use placing small catheters the size of a straw into those um, pulmonary arteries and administer clot-busting medication to help break up those clots. We have different tools. What we have is two to three millimeters, same small incision. We go, we go. Sometimes we take, suck the clot out. The, the, the point is, is not only we can do it, the time is very, very critical. And these things has to be done as quick as possible. It's like the stroke. It is like the heart attack. And now this is the next big thing is the pulmonary embolism response team, which is actually activated and we all come and address these patients so that what if I don't treat today, there is no tomorrow for this patient. So, and this makes a huge change in their lives. There are only a few centers uh, are taken, and we are one of these uh, founding members in the country, in the Midwest, and that is actually drives slew much in a different level.